What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So on the last video, we looked for the cheapest bike online. We went ahead and bought it, brought it back here, found out a bunch of issues on it. So now we got to rebuild it. And the first part of every rebuild is always to tear everything down, which is what we're going to do today. By the end of this video, I want to know why the engine is locked. So let's go. All right guys, so here's the problem. This here is the pivot shaft and it's linking my frame with the engine with the swing arm here. If I don't remove that shaft, the engine is not going anywhere. It's staying in the frame, which is gonna be a big problem because I need to remove that engine to work on it. So I've been banging on that shaft for the past hour and I need to remove it. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving at all right now. It is completely seized in the frame, the engine, and the swing arm. I don't know exactly where. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the bike on the floor, put some penetrating oil right here, let it sit for an hour or two, then come back here and use my hammer again and just bang on it just to try to get it out, apply some heat because we have to remove that shaft to get going on the engine. This isn't working, I gotta try something else. I got that press a while ago, but I never used it. It was sitting in boxes, I finally put it together. So here's the plan, I'm gonna put that bike in the press and I'm gonna push that shaft out of the frame. So to do that, I'm gonna remove as much as I can from the bike to make it lighter so it's easier for me to handle in the press. Wow. All right, so we're doing really good right now because we got that shaft to move. As you can tell, it's not sticking out in the frame anymore, but it moved. The problem is by moving, now we can see on that side that the shaft is flush with that surface that I used to rest my frame on the plate. So now when I push on that shaft, it's pushing on the plate, it's not going anywhere. So I need to change my setup to move the shaft out of the frame. So it 
wasn't that easy, but it worked. We got everything separated, and now we can start working on the engine. Okay, so if I didn't know someone else worked on that engine before, now nah, I do. It's honestly pretty scary looking, but I gotta keep going, so I'm gonna remove the ignition now. All right, so we're getting closer. I feel like I know what's going on now, but we gotta separate the crankcases, so let's go on the press. Some people really have no business in an engine. This is awful. 
Ay, 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 ay. All right, so really it doesn't look good, but we're gonna keep going with the teardown just to make sure there is not anything else wrong with that engine. So I'm witnessing pretty terrible work right now. Now that I know exactly what's broken, let's go ahead and buy the replacement parts. I'm done. Okay, so that was expensive, but now I got all the parts I need for my engine, so now I can keep going with the rest of the project. And now to finish on the crankcase, we need to pull the bearings out. And I just cleaned the crankcases in my bathroom slash paint booth. I just went with a brush and some degreaser. I could have gone the vapor blasting way, but it's gonna be another $100 on the rebuild. I think it's not worth it. Structurally, they're really good. There is no bad surprises on those crankcases. So what I'm gonna do now is I ordered a bunch of parts for the rebuild of the engine. I wanna open the box. Wait, wait, wait. There is so many things happening on that video. I really feel like I gotta keep track of what we're doing here. So we know what the problem was on the engine. That rod bearing here is shot. It's super crunchy and it blocks. That's the reason why the engine was locked. So that's why I bought a brand new crankshaft in the engine rebuild kit that I'm gonna use to rebuild the engine. And that's gonna happen in the next video. So if you wanna see that, you should definitely consider subscribing to the channel, activate your post notification, this way you know when I post the next video. If you like this video, and if you feel like other people would like it too, well, like the video, it really helps me. I see you in the next one, and meantime, keep building.